Hey guys, how's it going? Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we will be talking about how to install Endless OS. Now, Endless OS, for those of you who do not know, is an interesting operating system that packs a ton of stuff that you can use offline if you have a bad internet connection. Or maybe you live in a part of the world that doesn't always have access to the internet. You can download a massive Endless OS distribution ISO, whatever you want to call it, and you get a ton of different applications and everything is really easy to use and it's really targeted at the part of the world that isn't as lucky to have internet connections all the time as the rest of us watching this video. So if you are in that part of the world and you need a good distribution, it's completely free and I highly recommend it. And in this video, we're going to be going over how to get it working. So to start off, you're going to need to check the link in the description learn where you can download a copy of Endless OS and make the USB image. Once you've gotten that far, you can go ahead and load it up into your computer and follow along with the video. And the first thing you need to do is you need to go to the welcome screen and select your language. Now I am in the United States and I speak English, so I will select this one and then click next. From there, I'm going to click the reformat button. Now, if you wanna go ahead and give Endless OS a try, you can click the try it button. But as we're going over how to install it, you need to click the reformat button. So I have the Endless OS Basic because I don't really need the massive disk. And this is just for demonstration purposes. But uh, some of them get as big as 16 gigabytes. So once you select your version, and it should automatically select it by default, but once you've gotten that far, you can click the next button once again. Select your hard drive. If you have multiple hard drives, just select it in the drop down. I just have this one here. I'm going to click I agree and then it's going to tell you it looks like you have multiple partitions check this box so you have both boxes checked click the next button and endless OS is going to install to your computer and then it'll reboot and then we can go from there All right, so Endless OS is done reformatting, but the installation isn't entirely over. You see, unlike a lot of other distributions where you need to install and set up your user and everything right out of the gate, with Endless, you power off, you remove the disk, and then you set up your user. So let's do that now. Click the power off button. Now we need to start the VM back up. So and this is going to boot back up and as you guys might have guessed I'm recording this on a virtual machine and it closes automatically and it's pretty much the only way I can fully film and show you the installation of a Linux distribution. So we see our endless OS desktop and we see the welcome screen again. Go ahead and select your language like you did last time. And uh, from here you select your keyboard layout. It should automatically detect it based on what your what your keyboard is and you can just click the one from the list if it doesn't, and then just click the next button. From there, you can uncheck this if you are uncomfortable with sending usage statistics. Even if it's anonymous, you can uncheck it, or you can keep it checked if you'd like. Go through and read the privacy policy if you're so inclined. Most people don't do that. Then click accept and continue. After that, you can connect your Facebook, your Google, your Microsoft, and your Nextcloud. I'm not gonna do that, but if you want to, you can go ahead and do that and click the skip button and then enter your name. My name is Derek Diner. I'm going to password protect it. So I'm gonna click next, enter my password. Let's see. And then it's confirmed, reminder. And then click the next button. 
and just click start using endless and your system should boot up and you'll be able to use endless OS. In the future, I'm going to be going over a little bit about how to use the endless OS desktop shell. It's not like anything I've ever seen, but it's really pretty, really unique, and it really brings something new to the table when it comes to Linux. I, I think I would honestly use it if I wasn't already so set in my ways with Arch, Ubuntu, Fedora, and Debian. If I, if I couldn't use those anymore, I would definitely check this one out. And if you're in the part of the world that doesn't always have internet access, I highly recommend it. And even even if you're just a new user, like it's got all of the stuff like WhatsApp, Facebook, VLC, Google Chrome, even YouTube, Skype, all of that loaded right up and it's ready to go. So please check out Endless OS. It's really an awesome project. I highly recommend it. And I will see you guys in the next video.